Welcome to On the Road with Beer Corner USA. I'm Chris Bettini, and we're live in Amsterdam. We're gonna go check out the Hood Eye Brewery. It's this great little brewery that I found on my first trip here. It sits at the foot of this wood mill. Uh, they serve all organic beer, and they got a tour starting at four o'clock. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna see what we can get find out. I've never had a tour before, and I'm looking forward to share with you guys one of my favorite breweries to drink beer in Amsterdam. The brewery is located inside the old bathhouse of the windmill, and it's only open from 3 p.m. until 8 every day. It's a great place for people after they get off work to stop in, hang out, and grab a couple of these really tasty beers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's founded by 1985 by Kampitzen, so it's only 25 years old. And in that time, you didn't have much beers that were really nice. We only had Heineken also and other beers that didn't have that much taste as uh, some people wanted. Uh, we had some beers in the time uh, from Belgium in Holland, but the, those beers uh, were really expensive for us. Really. So when Casper um, first came to Amsterdam, he was actually a musician, and he uh, made some beer in his in his shed in his uh, in his garden um, in Amsterdam, and he sold it to his friends. And he's really good in that. Um, and th then at the moment he was so good in that he was thinking, now nah, let's kill it up. Uh, I'm uh, on my profession. So he went to Belgium, he did an internship there to learn how to brew beer on a bigger scale. Guys. Um, and he learned it to brew, brew beer on a bigger scale there. And then uh, <laughs> and then, then he came back here and he, he searched for a place, he looked around to make a brewery. And first he found a squad near the, uh, the river, the Eye. And uh, there's the name also from Oh, I, I is from the river in Amsterdam. <coughs> Just like Amstel beer is called after the, the river in Amstel. And um, so, but actually also, uh, uh, I means actually as well, Brauerei die Egg. Because I in, in Dutch is Egg in English. And, uh, <laughs> and that's why we have all kinds of little jokes uh, about eggs around here. Like the glasses are shaped like eggs. Uh, the lenses of the bar are, are, are up this egg. Uh, yeah. Do what? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's oh, an okay. Amsterdam tradition uh, oh. uh, that you be the boiled egg with your beer. It's like really nutritious. Uh, so. uh, yeah, For some people around here, it is. <laughs> and um, um, so, but he, first he was in the squad, and that was really convenient because he can be kicked out every day by the police and stuff. So uh, then he looked around further and he found this place. This is an old bathing house. And um, the baby house is ideal to make a brewery uh, because you have all kinds of tiles tile everywhere. Um, and it's not the only baby house in Amsterdam in the time we have, like, around the corner is another one. And uh, there's a lot of baby houses in Amsterdam because um, nobody had its own sanitation. Before 1970, 90, nobody had its own sanitation in its own. So everybody came here once a week to shower and uh, get clean. And we still have some memories left around here because when Casper came here, he, get, he had to get everything out. So there's still some soap baskets left, and uh, there's still uh, uh, still a sign on the wall around the corner that uh, that says you cannot sing under the shower. Um, so he, uh, there's still some signs around here. You should look around. It's mostly in Dutch, so for Dutch people, it's not from from English. But maybe you should ask your neighbor to translate. Or something. Um, so uh, when he came here, uh, he got, the, got all the showering cabins out. He, uh, he installed these kettles over here. Uh, most of them are most of the stuff around here is secondhand bought because uh, he had, didn't have much uh, money at the time. Um, and then he could start brewing his first beer. And there was actually a competition uh, going around uh, for brewing his first beer and uh, uh, first child. So it was a competition which one was which one came first, the child or the first beer. And the child won by two weeks. Um, because the, the first beer, yeah, when you first brew, you first brew uh, that has to be good. And it has to be, um, everything has to be working right. And in the beginning, there's a lot of um, um, failure in the, in, the, in the kettles and stuff. And sometimes you got 2,000 liters of beer could be thrown away because it got sour or something. Um, so it, it took like a, one year to get the first good brew. And that was the Zotte, the Zotte beer, the triple. And um, after that time, he could produce uh, steadily. Um, a lot of other breweries in the time that started at the time, uh, like 25 others started around that time, you know, and about 10 survived. The rest of them all got, uh, they, they 
it got infected in the, in the yeast or something, and he had to close down because they couldn't deliver uh, a constant product. <coughs> um, so, but this brewery is going to rise uh, with a lot of effort. All right, so that was a really great tour, and to see some awesome things about the brewery here at Hudai. They are an almost completely organic brewery, and uh, found a little cubby hole to hide away here and do a little beer reviews, a la Beers of the Week. So the first beer I'm going to try is their Columbus. This is a strong triple, um, sort of in the Belgian style, but Dutch beer is not Belgian beer. Um, I wish I could explain it better than that, but uh, you're just going to have to believe me in the sense that uh, when you've got the Netherlands where things are going from all over Europe to the north and then shipped out of Amsterdam, the brewing style picked up on a lot of that too. And the brewing tradition goes back way far uh, to when there was no, no uh, plumbing in all the canals. And so they had to purify the drinking water by making beer. Yeah. Anyway. Gross. Uh, so the Columbus has got a nice color, good flavor. Nice Belgian yeast smell to it, that top fermented yeast. It drinks really smooth. This is a 9% beer, but it has amazing flavor. Goes down really well and not a beer that is imported to the States. Most people bring this beer in themselves. And I really wish we could get this in the States. Any importers out there that would like to bring a great beer to the United States, this is the one to bring, in my opinion, from the Netherlands. So, great beer in that egg-shaped glass like Bart talked about, everything around here. Look, I, I is Dutch for egg, great beer. We're going to try another beer here in a second. So, And I hope you can hear me, guys. It's really loud in here because everyone comes in after work. This is the place to be on a, any given night between 3 and 8 p.m. in Amsterdam. Cheers to that. All right, the next beer we're going to check out from Thai is the, the Strius. Strius. S-T-R-U-I-S. My Dutch is horrible. And after that, Columbus at 9%. So is my reading. Anyway, this is a bottled beer. They don't put this on draft. It's a really great beer. One of my favorites I've had in the past. It is a nice, dark, coppery red, really sweet smelling beer. And it, it's 9% too and goes down easy. There is a reason. I was talking to some of the locals a little bit ago. And there's a reason why this bar doesn't stay open past 8 o'clock at night because the beers are strong and if it was open any later <laughs> there would be too many drunk people hanging out anyhow uh, all of these are bottle conditioned they even recondition in their kegs so it's got a nice carbonation it's got a really nice um, just just a, a bubbly feel to the beer and, and a great flavor uh, the, the caramel malts come out on this one um, God, Aaron, I wish you could be here drinking this one with me. This is definitely a beer that is right up your alley. Uh, hopefully one of these days I can have a whole bunch of you guys from Beer Corner down here in Amsterdam with me. Uh, some great beers, and I can't wait to keep showing you some more of them this week because this is a place that I've explored on my own the last few years when I found out about the, the beer culture here. And you guys are in for a treat. At least I hope you think so too when I'm done showing you some of these places. So I'm gonna get back hanging out with all these guys who just got off work. And we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna drink some more beers and go from there. So cheers, talk to you later. Well, there's our first episode of Beer Corner USA's On The Road. And we're from the Thai Brewery. It's a little rainy out here. Beers were great, company was even better, and we're going to have a good time on the next stop. Cheers. <laughs>